Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I have a pet cat, and he is a great cat. Two years later. Lots probably happened in two years, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Lots of things. How about you give us one thing that's happened? Um, I've got a new cat. What's your cat's name? Pixie. And she's a very small cat. How do you spell Pixie? P-I-X-I-E. I have lilac, lilac, lilac. You ever watch Bob Ross? Uh, no. Not that I know. Here's uh, Cyan. This is light pink. And this is baby blue. And this is black. And here you have some paintbrushes. Okay. Wait, not yet. Okay. You need a canvas. Oh, okay. You can paint whatever you want okay. using those five colors. Okay. Should you decide to use one of the smaller brushes, you can no longer use the large brush after that. Okay. So once you put down the large brush and grab a smaller brush, you can no longer use the large brush. Okay. Are we clear? Yeah. So you can only use that in the beginning. Okay. And then when you're done with the large brush, then you can grab a small brush. But you can no longer use the large brush. You can use as many small brushes as you want. Okay. So once you put down the large brush, you can no longer use the large brush and grab a smaller brush, but you cannot use the large brush again. Okay. So once you put down the large brush and grab a smaller brush, you can no longer use the large brush. Okay. What would you say is the most valuable and precious thing in your life? Uh, my family. Without cleaning the brush, I'll go right into some phthalo blue. How would you describe what a friend is to somebody who was unaware of what that meant. Someone who cares about you and stands up for you and someone who tries to never let you down. Do you know the names of any of the Beatles? There's the Japanese beetle, and I can't think of any other ones. Or am I just thinking about a different book? Not really. Okay, now I'd like you to look at this really cute cat video. This is a deck of playing cards, mm -hmm. and each of these playing cards has a United States president. Pick okay. one. Mm. Oh, I can't think Let's of anything. see who you anything. got. Got Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan. What do you know about Ronald Reagan? Um, I've spoken of a shining city all my political life. Anything. His name's Ronald Reagan? If you could pick any person from the past, now, living, dead, fictional, who would you want to see as President of the United States? Um, my teacher. Tell me about your teacher. Um, she's really nice and she cares about the environment. And she's a teacher and she teaches us about um, signs and also history. Like, she'll teach us about the presidents, and we did an assignment about... Ronald where, Reagan? Um, no. We just um, had a hat, and um, she put names of presidents, and we had to research them and put them in a portfolio, and then, like, present it. Beautiful, beautiful blue. Okay, let's go up in here. Now we'll start right at the top. Do you own the Emoji Movie? No, I just... Do you, do you plan on buying the Emoji Movie? Uh, not really. Is it something you'd have a poster for in your room? Uh, I don't know. Would you buy the soundtrack? 
Yeah. Would you get the Blu-ray? Sure. 4K? Yeah. Do you hope there's a sequel? Yeah. Would you like me to stop talking about the Emoji Movie? No. I've been forced to do right-handed things, so some left-handed people will find it easier to highlight on the right, some on the left. How do you see the language evolving? Um, I see that people who use words because they think they're cool. Like, some people will say, oh, that's so lit, because, like, they'll say, watch um, skateboarding videos and someone just did a trick, they'll say, oh, that's so lit, I want to try that. Do your parents ever say anything like, hey, that's lit? Yeah. Have you ever heard from your parents, oh, snap? Yeah. If you could make up a word that you'd like people to use, what would it be? Uh, it's glittery. Have you heard anybody in your school refer to their sunglasses as sunnies? Like you're about to go to the beach with your mom and dad, and as you're leaving the house, you're like, oh, mom, dad, I forgot my sunnies. Um, uh, I don't know. Do you think that could catch on? Yeah, maybe. Do you think there would be people that would incorporate, oh, man, those sunnies are lit? Yeah, probably. I'd like to read you a poem. Okay. This was written by a nine-year-old. Okay. It's called Betty Pringle. Betty Pringle had a little pig, not very little and not very big. When he was alive, he lived in clover, but now he's dead and that's all over. So Billy Pringle, he lay down and cried, and Betty Pringle, she lay down and died. And so there was an end of one, two, and three. Billy Pringle, he, Betty Pringle, she, and the Piggly Wiggy. What do you think of that? I don't know. I'm speechless. Do you like poetry? Yeah. Are you familiar with E.E. E. Cummings? Mm, no. Check them out. How much coffee have you had today? Mm, only one cup. I've had four. If there's one question that you wish I had asked you, what would it be? Mm, what I think of squishies. What are squishies? Yeah. Uh, they're a object that you can squish. Let me see that. It's pretty lit. Have you seen any aliens since we last uh, talked? Mm, not really. Okay, well, we're almost out of time. So, uh, before we look at your painting, I would like to give you 30 seconds to say whatever you want on that microphone. Okay. 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, uh... Go follow me on Musical.ly. My account's Izzy the Ultimate. How's your painting coming along? Good. Are you ready to unveil it? Yeah. All right. Let's take a look.